Welcome to the Developmental Pediatric Occupational Therapy online course at Bristol Community College, also known as OTA 237. This is a hybrid or blended course that offers both a lecture component and a face-to-face -face lab format. Both the lecture and lab instructors have created a collaborative learning environment incorporating state-of-the-art course content and pediatric treatment equipment for enhanced learning. Diana Rice, the lecture instructor, brings years of teaching experience to the online classroom. And Connie Messia, the lab instructor, brings her clinical expertise into the classroom. Together, we collaborate to meticulously design student goals and objectives, class assignments, detailed rubrics, clinical activities, all to instill student knowledge, interaction, and clinical reasoning. The lab day reflects and incorporates lessons taught in the online classroom. This is an exemplary course because we have worked passionately to incorporate both the art and science of occupational therapy, bringing it to life in an interactive online format in order to deliver the professional skills needed to be an entry-level occupational therapy assistant. We use a holistic approach incorporating multi-sensory learning and technology such as the map man activity. We use this for body awareness treatment. Weekly lessons provide an opportunity to foster a collaborative and an interactive approach to learning. This exemplary course space is the result of a compilation of talents inspired by the D Dynamic Instructional Design Center at Bristol Community College. Like a five-pointed star, the five-member team brought their skills to enhance and develop this learning space. Guided by expertise, the course exploded with energy and enthusiasm to perfect OTA 237. In addition to Diana and I, other essential members of this five-pointed star team include Thais Real Martins, instructional designer, Kate DeVito, instructional designer, and Richard Dubrell, support staff. This was accomplished through weekly meetings well in advance of the start of the course. Communication with students is an essential component to this course space success. It is accomplished through weekly announcements, weekly lesson folders, face-to-face -face labs, discussion forums with feedback, and email. Students were also able to demonstrate their basic technical capabilities. For example, in lesson three, the learning activity, Fine Moda Kit, is where students could be creative with posting a video of their fine motor treatment activity using common household items. After posting their videos, students had to review at least two other student activities and respond to them, allowing for student interactions and self-learning. The evidence-based practice assignment requirements found in Lesson 9 loaned itself to using more advanced technology. Students were instructed to research a pediatric condition and educate a chosen audience by designing a newsletter or a brochure. The, exp the expectation of this final assignment was to record an audio presentation and showcase their findings using screencast-o-matic technology. What better endorsement is there and positive student feedback. This email was received from a student. Hi Diana and Connie, thanks for choosing my newsletter for your presentation. I'm flattered. Our class made this happen with the help of some pretty awesome teachers. I really enjoyed working on yours and Connie's assignments, which allowed us to use our creativity. It was my favorite class by far. We believe this nomination for an exemplary course space has earned a respective place in the history of OTA course development as we have turned the page, never looking back, 
progressing from teaching in a transparency overhead projector world to moving forward into the dynamics of online teaching. What a marvelous journey this has been and we look forward to improving and making it better in years to come.